Cleveland Pier, and we also had the Aloha Pier, and we had um, also the Elsinore Princess he had painted in the background, and the yacht racing. We had yacht racing here at one time. So oh. this kind of depicts the city of Lake Elsinore, 1888 to 2008, when he had it commissioned. And I saw three of those white turns just this morning. Are there any yeah, egrets. Oh, yeah. egrets. Oh, I thought you said they were turned. No. It burned down two, two years, years ago, ago yeah. while we were having Winter, winter Fest, Fest and dedicating the Cultural Center. Oh. We were uh, we got a Riverside County historical site for our Cultural Center, and then I was in the basement, and somebody said there's a fire going on, and it was Winter Fest, and uh, yeah. Uh, I think we were stopping the traffic. It burned down, <laughs> and then the city, the guy owned it, was um, out of town. You know, he was an absentee owner. And after the fire, he didn't do anything, so the city actually came in and tore it down. At one time, though, when it was first dedicated, it had a time capsule buried on the cornerstone. And the Lake Elsinore Historical Society has the cornerstone. You know, Masons were very famous for cornerstones, laying cornerstones. That goes all the way back to the beginning. And uh, when they had this dedication for this Masonic temple, the whole town shut down. All the schools shut down. Everybody went to the dedication of the Masonic temple. So it was a really uh, shame that we lost it this was. wonderful building. Oh, it was wonderful. It's too bad. It was vandals. It was, it was um, vacant, and we think vandals got in there oh. to keep warm. It started on the second floor that night. Yeah, it burned. It just went. We could see it from way from the cultural center. And Jerry Harmans donated this. Uh, store as our original Lake Elsinore Museum, Historical Museum. You were here about eight years. Weren't you? That's right. Yeah. And then what happened was um, he sold it, and he and then of course we had to move out, and we moved everything to the cultural center, in the basement. Oh, right here. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's 125 years old. Elsinore. Yes, 125. I'm guessing that would describe the design, which kind of gives way a little bit to the idea of a door being here. Yes, yes. You can, yeah, you can kind of see it, how, how the old brick is here, yeah. how the new brick is there. Uh-huh, yeah, exactly. You, yeah, you can see where the bricks go. Oh. the date with this sign and they have underneath the date this building was erected I think it's 1893 and why they let them put that sign up there and cover up that date I will never know it's their hotel it was a very beautiful Victorian type hotel until they plastered over it uh, it used to be two stories and they built it into four stories it was the only building in Lake Elsinore that had an elevator uh, she can contest because she got stuck in the elevator. <laughs> um, uh, after uh, World War II, the two floors, like I said, were divided into four floors. The top floor at one time uh, housed the um, Lake Elsinore High School students. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Joyce, so the top floor us? had the high school classes up there. Why in those days that they, or these days, they have plastered over this and like the big church? You know why? Because at that time there were, wasn't a good historic preservation ordinances at the time. Right. At, right. And they didn't have his, good historical societies established. A lot of reasons. And they thought it looked better. And, and it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. It, 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 yeah. It took away. It took away the um, architectural integrity. When you plaster or stucco over side boarding, you look at it and you say, what in the world did they do? Because it looks so horrible. It doesn't yeah. fit. It just oh, doesn't just, fit. I see the pictures huh? of that church. Holly thinks um, they took those bricks out and put that other kind of wall up. Restore it, but they haven't done it at a cost of $24,000. It was the Elsinore Theater. 
you can see. Twenty four thousand. Yeah, twenty four thousand dollars built in nineteen twenty four. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's been an antique store many times. Look at the windows. I have a What's it in the public store? Was it ever in the corner? I, I don't know. It sure looks like it. I don't know the answer. It was a bank. This is our bank. They have the safe and they have a yeah. vault in the basement. Yeah, there's a vault in the bank. What's neat about this is. Uh, during World War II, people of Lake Elsinore didn't know Pearl Harbor was about bombed. So they placed newspapers on the windows, because this was a bank, and people read that Pearl Harbor had just been bombed. So that's how they found out. This is where I originally banked when I moved here. Yeah, First National Bank. Um, one time there was a pot belly stove that came down, it was about right there, to keep it warm in the wintertime. Uh, there was a, a sunroom uh, that you could actually go out and sit and watch the train go by on Spring Street.